Welcome to the Earth Odyssey. You are a member of the Galactic Relocation, Exploration, and Analysis Team, also known as GREAT, responding to an undecipherable radio wave that was sent out into space from the planet Earth. This planet is known to contain a violent and unstable species called humans. GREAT has been tasked with capturing one for further study. Upon further inspection, Four major cities were discovered around the planet that show signs from which the signal may have originated. The four locations are the irradiated ruins of New York City, the war-ravaged Moscow, the overgrown Rio de Janeiro, and the desolate wastelands of Cairo. Earth Odyssey is an open-world 3D puzzle adventure game where the player will attempt to unravel the mysteries of what happened on the Earth and to its inhabitants. Upon landing in a devastated metropolis, the player will begin to explore the environment, searching for any remaining humans, and to try to find out what happened to their species. To further understand what has happened to the humans, the player must learn the language of the local area by collecting language ciphers hidden around the world. Each of the four main areas to explore has a central item to collect that serves as the player's main objective. Some example objectives are collecting pieces of the Statue of Liberty in New York or fragments of the Statue of Christ the Redeemer in Rio de Janeiro. The less challenging items to collect will reward the player with small bits of data that inform the player of past events. The longer and more drawn out side quests, such as deciphering the local language, will reward the player with the ability to understand all the backstory items, such as newspapers or data storage devices. Collecting all of the language ciphers will enable the player to know what exactly each lore collectible is saying, which until then will be illegible to the player. All items that are collected will be rewards based on puzzles the player has completed. Earth Odyssey will contain several environmental and mechanical based puzzles for the player to solve while exploring. Solving these puzzles will reward the player with memory triggers or language ciphers that help fill in the backstory of what went wrong on the Earth. Some of these items will be accessible by simply solving a quick platforming puzzle by jumping to the correct ledge or platform. We want the player to use their intellectual capacity to solve the puzzles that they are given. These puzzles will start off easy as to ease the player into the game. However, they will become progressively more difficult as they continue to play. These include a wide range of challenges such as pressure plate puzzles, switch puzzles, memorization puzzles, stealth puzzles, and trial and error puzzles. An example might be a stealth puzzle where the player must sneak past a pack of rabbit dogs undetected. If the player is caught by any of these dangers, they will die and start back at the last checkpoint the player has passed. Earth Odyssey will have a multiplayer option for players to choose. We want players to be able to jump in and out of multiplayer mode with no party or player invites to make the process seamless. Puzzles will remain the same, and both players can tackle the same puzzle together or different puzzles at the same time and share the rewards. Communication between players will be extremely limited. The players will be given three different emote sounds that depict warning, happy, and point of interest. This design decision is based upon not wanting the players to tell the other player how to solve a puzzle. As for player movement, the player is allowed to run, jump, climb, and move light objects with the power of telekinesis. There will be no combat in the game, as we feel it will be a distraction when we want the player to be focused on solving the mystery that led to the destruction of the human race through solving puzzles and deciphering clues. We want the player to immerse themselves in a world destroyed by war where only mutated wildlife roams the lands. So for the art style of Earth Odyssey, it will be heavily influenced by post-apocalyptic art styles. Each of the four major destinations will be different as far as ambience. New York will be a ruined city in rubble with overgrown vegetation massed around what was once Central Park. Moscow will have ruined buildings hidden in the deep snow. Rio will be covered in jungle vegetation with a tropical ocean view. Cairo will be a barren desert wasteland with its buildings hidden in the sand. The cities will resemble semi-futuristic buildings covered in propaganda, advertisements, and overgrown vegetation. Before the extinction event, humanity was facing overpopulation, and to show this, there will be ruins of houses built over other houses. 
The city streets will be filled with rubble and emit a very dark ambience. Cities such as New York and Moscow will have been partially blown away from nuclear attacks. Evidence of this are the human shadows vaporized by the blast depicted on walls where the light from the blast might have hit. These shadows will show the player how people were going about their daily lives when the bomb hit them unaware. The radiation from the nuclear war would have also mutated plants and animals alike, creating new and disturbing creations that pose obvious threats to the player. Audio in Earth Odyssey will also play a very important role. It will be used to enhance the emotion we want the player to be feeling at a precise moment in time. Some aspects of the game will have music for dramatic sights, while other times there will be no music whatsoever, leaving only environmental sounds such as the wind blowing. Our main goal is to make the player really feel that they are exploring an empty, ruined human world. Sound effects will also play an important role as to help immerse the player into the game. These effects will be footsteps based on the texture of floor, water drops, rain, the wind, or rabbit animal sounds. Earth Odyssey will take approximately 5 hours to complete if the player does only the canon elements of the game. If the player is a completionist and does all of the side puzzles and lore, the game will take over 10 hours to complete. We are taking this route as to appease players that want a quick story as well as appeasing and rewarding players that like to fully complete a game by giving them additional story and content. Earth Odyssey would be launched only for digital download via Steam, PS4 Store, and Xbox Marketplace. We want to avoid the costs of creating physical copies as well as their associated distribution costs as it will cut into the profits of the game significantly. Earth Odyssey will challenge the analytical mind through puzzles. It will please both the completionist as well as the player who is just looking for a quick story. Inspiration will be enlightened in the artistic mind from the ruins of Central Park, the barren desert of Cairo, to the propaganda-covered buildings and nuclear-blasted shadows of humanity. The game's music and sound effects will allow the adrenaline seeker to become entranced in escaping mutants created by the nuclear war. The seamless multiplayer transition offers uninterrupted gameplay, not to mention Profit margins will be higher by avoiding the manufacturing and distributing costs of physical copies. So please, ask yourself, will the cultures of Earth be lost forever? Or will a piece of humanity be discovered and brought amongst the stars? Only an Earth Odyssey will tell.